Hey everybody! In this video, I want to talk about a few Panopto features that you might find useful as more and more of your professors use Panopto to create content. Now, what is Panopto? Well, it is what we use for recording lectures, for screencasting, like I'm doing right now, for live video streams, and then also just for managing video content. So you can think of Panopto as our own little YouTube here at UCM. Now, there's a couple of different ways for you to find Panopto videos. One of them might be through a Panopto video link that your professors have made available. And so if you click on that, it'll take you directly to Panopto content. And then from there, you can view the videos. Now, from this view right now, you can't see any videos because I have arranged them into folders. So if you click on week two, for example, then we can see the videos. And if you have more than one video, you have four different options for sorting them. One is through its name. Another way is through the duration. And then there's a date and rating. Now the rating is anonymous. And so you can rate these videos ranging from no stars up to five stars. And one way that you could use this, these, uh, this rating system to your advantage is perhaps some videos are more relevant to you than others. And so you can give something a five stars if it's something that you certainly want to go back to or definitely want to go back to. And then maybe you won't put anything or not as many stars on the other ones that you don't have as much a need for. And so later on, when you go back, you can rate them that way. Okay, so that's one way to find videos is through this link. Another way is through embedded videos like you see here. So these would be embedded videos within the learning modules. All right, and then on top of having a couple of different ways to find these Panopto videos, you also have two different types of Panopto videos. One type would be those that are created using Panopto, like this one here. And then another one would be videos like this one that was not created in Panopto, but then the videos have, have been uploaded to Panopto. And so you, they can now be viewed using Panopto. And later on in this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between the two types of videos. So what's so great about using Panopto? Well, let me get to that. Let's start with what I have here. So this is an embedded video, and you have the option to view the embedded Panopto video at full screen using this right here. Oh, and I should mention as I'm doing this that because I'm logged in as myself, I do have a few additional options that may not be available to you. And one of them is this icon right here for downloading. So that's probably not going to be available to you. However, here's the icon for entering full screen. You could watch the video directly in Panopto. That's this arrow right here. Or you could cast the video to a connected device. So if you have Apple TV, for example, or Chromecast or Air Media, you can watch this video on a different screen provided as I mentioned, that you have the proper hardware and software. And as videos, you may pause and rewind. So here's a, you could use the bar right here to, quick, to quickly jump to different portions of the video. You can rewind by 10 seconds, play and pause. You can also turn on closed captioning and change the speed at which this video is played. And if you click on the up arrow at the bottom center, that's this right here it'll give you additional options. If it has a table of contents, for example, you can jump to that portion of the video. And then this is where it's really useful, I think, for you as a student. There's a portion here for discussions, for adding comments. And so you can have a discussion with fellow classmates and everybody else who has access to this video. You can type in something and say, hey, what'd you think about this? Or I don't understand this part. And so you can have interaction 
that way. And then this portion right here is private. This would be for you to take notes. And I put an example on here. So at 20 seconds into the video, I put something about something about shades because as you can see in this little icon or this uh, preview here, the speaker has some shades. So I wanted to take note of that. So for you, what that means is as you're watching these presentations or video lectures, if you hear something interesting or something you want to take note of, that this is where you could do that. And it'll remember the timestamp so that later on, when you review your notes, it'll jump to that portion of the video. And then here's another tool right here. You could search the video. So if you remember your professor saying something about this or that, then you can type in whatever those keywords are, like this or that. And then it will create a search results thing over here. And you can go through each one to see which one is most relevant to you, or you could listen to the ones that pertain to whatever you're trying to search for. And then here's where you can rate the video. Now let's take a look at what it looks like when you view directly, when you view the video directly in Panopto. And hopefully I can pause this quickly enough. Oop. Oh boy. Okay, so this, as I mentioned earlier in the video, was a video created using Panopto. And you can tell it's created in Panopto because it has two different video streams. There's one uh, pointed directly at the speaker, and then there's a screen that's being shared. Now, certainly videos created in Panopto do not have to have two streams. Perhaps the person turned off the camera pointed at the speaker or just yeah so that's a possibility right there and then also i haven't tried this myself yet but it's also possible that there would be more than two different video streams so that's something that's available in panopto or for videos created in panopto however just like here in the embedded video you have the same options or a lot of the same options. There's a way to search the recording. So that's the equivalent of this portion right here. You have captions. So that's uh, in addition to the captions that you can turn on and off here. As the video is playing, you can see the cap captions this way. There's a discussion. So that's the equivalent of this portion here where you leave comments. And then here's the notes. And then here's an additional item, bookmarks. Bookmarks let you remember important moments. Type and hit enter to add a bookmark. And then as far as rating this, it's up here. And here's another cool thing. So if you have two different streams like you see here, you could switch. You could also view each one uh, in full screen. And so like in this mode, Oh boy, uh, that's me. Uh, in this mode, you can hear the speaker, but then you can't see the screen being shared. So that might not be very useful. But over here, you can view what's being shared, but then you won't see the speaker. So that's another option for you. Or you could just play it like this. So this is what it looks like when viewed within Panopto. Now, when it comes to videos that were not created in Panopto, like this one, let me go ahead and go to that. Okay, so this one was not created in Panopto, but it was uploaded in Panopto. So as you can see, it already looks kind of different. It doesn't have the two screens, for example, but otherwise it works the same way. There's this portion where you could search, there's the captions, discussion, notes, bookmarks, and then there's a way to rate the video as well.